Hi, this is Louise Bibby from getupandgoguru.com and from 15minutepowerplayswithyourkids.com Usually I speak about my blog, uh, getupandgoguru.com and, uh, and which is for people who, uh, with CFS, ME and uh, it's a blog uh, that I write to, to help empower people who have that illness. It's an illness that I've had for many years. But today I'm going to talk about my book, my ebook, 15 Minute Power Plays with Your Kids. How to be a better parent in 15 minutes a day. Uh, interestingly, I've started this video about five times already. Uh, I've worked out a script that I thought I might say and um, you know how with parenting, how it doesn't really ever go quite the way you want it to? It's a little bit like that today. The budgie's making huge amounts of noise every time I speak. There's dogs barking outside every time I, I try and talk. And uh, basically, all sorts of things keep going wrong. But I think that pretty much sums up how, how parenting can be sometimes. And how often we can feel so guilty that it's not going perfectly or that we're not perfect parents. Parental guilt, I think, is one of the most insidious things in our society. It, it eats us up and unfortunately we also feed into other people's parental guilt by oh, all sorts of ways, but you know, by pretending we're perfect for a start. Uh, and so other people look and go, oh gee, I wish I was like her. Well, we're meanwhile going, Oh gee, I wish I was like her, or um, or him. Uh, and uh, much of the parental guilt, I think, is often around uh, how much quality time we spend with our kids. Now, big question about what is quality time, and that's something I looked look into um, in my book, and particularly in the uh, the bonus resource guide, the bonus mega resource guide, which ended up being bigger than the book. Uh, but I just wanted to really talk a little bit about parental guilt and about our quality time with our kids. Uh, something that I discovered that actually really inspired me to write this book was that at the time I started writing the book, uh, my daughter was only six, she's now actually almost 11, uh, but she she showed me that uh, she actually often only needed 15 minutes of my time, 10, 15 minutes. I mean, not, not overall, but often I would be putting pressure on myself to spend more time with my daughter. Uh, and I have a chronic illness. I, um, for the most part of my parenthood, have been single. Uh, and so spending quality time with her, I often felt I wasn't doing. I was spending quantity time, I was spending time with her. But actually, you know, taking her to the playground or sitting down with her with a book. Uh, I mean, I did that quite a bit, but I don't know. I still felt guilty that I wasn't spending enough time with her. And she would often be saying, Mom, can you come and play on the swing with me? Or can you come and watch me do something outside? Because kids, amazingly, just love you to watch them. I think they just love to be acknowledged. Um, and really, like, just like all of us. Uh, and so I would beat myself up that I wasn't doing enough. And then when I actually did take the time, and I mean, I, I, I'm, look, I, I count myself as a pretty good mum, I would say, um, and I, I did spend do a fair bit of stuff with my kid, uh, but when I did find the time to spend 15 minutes with her, uh, or just to go somewhere or do something uh, around the house, I would often find that after 10 or 15 minutes, she'd actually... Uh, had enough like it was enough for her for me to go out and push her on the swing for 15 minutes and Then she'd be ready to go off and do something on her own and and I found the same with when I took her to the playground uh, If we only had a short amount of time She would have a wonderful time and she'd think I was the most awesome mum for taking her to the playground 
And this started to get me thinking that, that we, we often really beat ourselves up as parents, that we're not spending the quality time with our kids. But often we, we think we have to spend these big chunks of time and so set aside a whole day or a half a day. And what I discovered, or what I believe is the case, is that we really don't always have to do that. It's great if we can, but spending that quality 15 minutes at the end of the day, after you've come home from work, uh, if you're a working mum or dad, uh, or just in the middle of the day, or whenever you, you have it, if you can just stop and just be completely present with your kids, that's what's so important to them. Being fully present and having feeling that they're being heard and uh, and seen. And so I've compiled uh, 31 ideas, and they're very simple ideas in many ways. But it's kind of like a like a recipe book. You know, like you've got your favourite meals that you cook a lot over time. But sometimes I know with me, like there's there's things that I've I've cooked regularly and then I don't cook them for quite some time and and then someone will mention it and I think oh I should really cook that I totally forgotten and you know if I had that in a recipe book I just sort of could flip it open and, and get some ideas and this is what this book's about or not about but it's it's how it works you know it's kind of like you can flip it over to any page and go oh we could play a board game or we could play cards or maybe we could go for a walk and just have a chat. There's, there's all these very simple ideas. Uh, but as I say, it's kind of like the recipe book for ideas of how to spend quality time with your kids. When you have those small windows, when you, you've got dinner cooking and, and you've got that little bit of time that you can spend, um, it's amazing how they respond in my experience and from what I see and what I read uh, while I was doing the resource guide uh, it's also supported by uh, a lot of evidence and some research that that is the, the, the case they don't necessarily need the quantity of time um, particularly when that time that that they're spending with us is um, where we're distracted and we're doing other things anyway um, so I really wanted to let you know that that uh, I've got this book out but uh, that it's actually being released on Kindle very soon um, I'm aiming for August this 7th 2014 and uh, I'm just going to see whether how long it takes with the Amazon process it's currently available uh, on my site which is 15 minute power plays with your kids uh, in PDF form so if you want to get it on PDF and I'm actually going to put the EPUB version up as well uh, I'll uh, if you need if you want to get it on that once I start selling it on Kindle uh, the first 90 days are that it will be exclusive to Kindle and so um, you won't be able to get it until after that uh, if you want it in PDF form or EPUB and uh, I won't be able to sell it on the site at that point. But what you will get with it, um, regardless, either way, is uh, I think there's five or six bonuses. And one of them is that mega resource guide. Uh, it's, it's over 70 pages where I've gone through and uh, looked for blogs and books and other resources that will assist you to, uh, to do these these 15 minute power plays with your kids. Uh, so I've done the research for, for you. Uh, so in my next video I'm actually going to go through a few of the um, 15 minute power plays and just give you an idea of what they are and, uh, and give you some ideas of what you could do today with your kid. Because I think that if we're enjoying the moments that we do have with our children, if we're really treating them as precious uh, when we can be fully present uh, that will build over time a little bit like if you put a dollar away every day for the next 10 years uh, that would be a massive investment in the end you know well, not massive but it would be an investment that would pay off uh, and you could do something with that 
And I think if we just put 15 minutes, I mean, of course if we can put more, great. But if we just dedicate absolutely like 15 minutes, non-negotiable, uh, a day, and we put it in our calendar with our kids, it's like an investment in their future and in ours. So if you're interested in getting the PDF for the EPUB, uh, go to www.15, just the number, minutepowerplayswithyourkids.com. Uh, I'm also setting up a, uh, a, a page that you can go to uh, regarding if, if you're interested in getting uh, the Kindle version for free because there's actually going to be a couple of days uh, at the start uh, where you will be able to get it for free. So if you want to sign up and uh, we can email you and let you know when it's available um, for free, uh, you can do that. And uh, as a little thank you for me giving you that, you could do a review on Amazon. <laughs> if you had time to do that, that would be awesome. Uh, and absolutely do a, an honest review. That's all I want you to do is be honest. And uh, frankly, I want you to have an awesome life with your kids. Spend quality time with them. All right, so this is Louise Bibby from 15 Minute Power Plays with Your Kids.com. Thanks for listening. And on the next video, we'll go through a few of the uh, ideas that I've come up with. Cheers, guys. Keep smiling. <laughs>